Hello everybody, Keith here again. Um, just going to do a very quick What's in Blue at the beginning of May video. It's going to be a little bit gonzo rather than stuck on a tripod this time, at least for the first part, so that I can show you some of the things that I've got which is not easy to do any other way. This is my latest Vanda. Nothing to do with me, these flowers. This is how it came from Burnham's. I really like this, this flower. Um, big, blousy, which is surprising. I don't really like that kind of thing. But I think the contrasting the dark and pale sort of magentas is really, really attractive. It's got... Um, what well, half a dozen flowers on this spike it's growing very well it's getting watered once a day I've recently made up some buckets of fertilizer specifically for these so I can dunk the roots on all three of my vandas uh, at least once a day as they need it and do it easily and it seems to be doing the trick And over here, of course, we've got something that is a bit special. Um, Psychopsis mariposa, a big flower. I mean, there's my hand. You can see it's every bit as big as that, and then some. Um, quite unusual. If you look here, the, the wings, if you like, are drawn right back. The, Upper petal and sepals are drawn right back. It's a very odd flower, to say the very least. But um, lovely nonetheless. And what's even nicer is we've got a, a new growth coming, which is growing really very well indeed. And then if we come over this way, we'll start with the others on the table, excuse me for taking everything out of the out of, out of shop for a little bit. This is Phalaenopsis leodoro. This spike has been blooming for a very long time and it finally sort of finished flower and I thought okay that's it. I'll take the, the spike off. We've got some other branches that it could pick up on you can see some in the background there there's several old spikes that have branched and before I had the chance to do that it suddenly started to push on and it's put some more buds out and three of them are in bloom you can see there's another one there ready to come and this it's still going so quite what's happening with this one I really don't know another one that's nothing whatever to do with me um, I killed a Nelly Isla, um, which was one of the first plants I bought that wasn't a Phalaenopsis and obviously that's not a, a great start because they're not ideal plants for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. Um, I did rebloom it once but it didn't, um, didn't really get, get going after that. I think I potted it in completely the wrong mixture, kept it too wet and it went downhill like a an Olympic skier. So I haven't had anything like this, this end of the of the orchid group for quite a long time. And then I saw this one and I thought, now I want to give this a whirl. Um, I've had a bit more experience, and this was simply sold as Miltonia obstetral Miltonia with a waterfall pattern. But somebody's managed to identify it as. Miltoniopsis breathless, with the probable uh, variant of Florence. Now Florence appears to be quite a variable flower, um, but as you can see on this plant, it, some of them have quite a dark background to the lip, and some of them have a much paler background to the lip, and that is sort of the range, so I think it probably is Florence in the end. What's really pleasing though, if we go away from the flowers for a minute, are the new growth. We've got two new growths down here. 
and just around this side we've got another one which just peeped its head out the other day so I think I've been very lucky I think when I got this I, by accident or design I've ended up with a really strong plant um, one that's gone this is the phalaenopsis that I bought in Salisbury in March 2019 it's flowered since January so it's very very nearly four months this has been in bloom Lovely little thing starts off with a greenish background and fades gently to a, a sort of pale butter yellow color o over the months um, really vigorous plant you can see it's got a, a big new leaf lots of roots and there appears to be on this spike a, where are we a, can't quite see it um, but if I could get the perishing thing to focus I'd, be, I'd do a lot better hang on a second let me go into manual focus and see if I can do any better right no nope. That's it, that's, that's why. Um, there. I hope you can see um, just there. There is something emerging from behind that um, node that is possibly a branch. So that's a, a, a nice plant. This one, not another no ID foul, very pretty little tiny thing. I think it's probably overpotted. I don't think it's as happy as it could be. I'm not sure if there's a problem. I want to find out if there's a problem to try and sort sort it out. But I want to try it in a smaller pot. I think um, this is Miltonia spectabilis on its way down I think now pretty thing got lots of new growths I think here is another flower spike um, these are a, a rambly plant as you can see quite long rhizomes um, they're a bit of a climber as well I think I'm going to have to look very hard about how these are being kept I've got some pleats on some of the leaves on these, but these late, these which come out later uh, are not crimped, so I think I've probably got the, the watering cracked. It's taken a while though. This little beauty is Pliony Mourner Lower. Bought it from Burnham's in March 2018 at the East Midlands Orchids uh, show. Um, a lot of pink in it, inevitably, a lot of planes have that, but you've got a white hood, which is a little bit different. Um, that's blown quite a lot later than, than the others. And what I've found with my plane is this year, against everything that people say, is that I've needed to keep the compost moist. There is a risk that you might get rot if you keep it too wet. But I found with mine, um, if, they're not, if there's not enough moisture when they start looking for it, you get all kinds of problems. You don't get flowers, the leaves don't form properly. So that's something I've got to learn. I mean, some plants have done extremely well, some plants haven't. And the other thing's been, I think I got them in too much sunlight. Um, so you, you, you live and learn or well, you hope that the plants live while you learn. Where do I get it? Dendrobium tetragonum. This is uh, gigant the form gigantium, quite tall. You can see how tall that one is. Um, Rebloomed on old canes. 
Um, this is the second cane that's rebloomed this year. Um, and this tall cane, which it flew up last year, and which was refusing to come into focus, has a, a sheath which hasn't burst yet. So, that's the first group. And I'll go and put these away, and then I'll get the, uh, the Phalaenopsis, which is about the last of the ones uh, that are in flower at the moment. Right, Paphio Pedalums. Uh, the American Hybrid is on its way down. It's lost two of its blooms already, and this one is starting to fade a little bit. Um, this isn't showing new fans, but there are two well-developed, unflowered fans on it, so it's, it's fine, it's doing okay. Some of the others are working in a slightly different way. Well, that's because these are mottled leaf fowls, and they are earth house paths that are doing things that do things slightly differently I don't know it's possible this is Mordii again starting to change colour it's been out quite a little while now so I'm not surprised it's beginning to go um, what's nice to see though is we've got two new fans here um, and there's one that's better developed over here, um, so that's that's great. Colossum variant sublaevi still look pretty good. Still be all right for a little bit longer, I think. Um, again, we've got signs of new growth. We've got a reasonably well developed little fan there. I noticed earlier on, if you can see down at the base of that stem, we've got uh, another fan starting to project. So that's obviously doing okay. The Lenartii, again, still looking good. Not, I think, going to go anywhere very soon. Um, I've been told that these don't make a lot of new new fans. You tend to get one fan at a time um, and it only grows one. But I did notice somewhere, I can find it again. Oh yes, there we are. I don't know if there's enough light to show it. Um, Try and get in close this way, see if we can do any better. No, I don't think so. Um, hard to see, but take my word for it. There is another fan just starting to show up at the tip of my finger. So that's everything I've got in bloom at the moment. Um, a lot of things are growing quite well. My bulbophyllum has got three new growths on it, with one doing really, really well. So, overall, I'm fairly happy that things are, are doing okay. So, I'll leave you with that, and I'll uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.